What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and for today I wanted to give you guys one final look at my Psylocke before I invest a ton of my resources into her and make her as strong as I possibly can. And the reason why I want to do this video is because I want to show you guys just how much you can get out of Psylocke immediately after unlocking her from the deluxe package. This will give you guys a good understanding of just how powerful she is even without an obelisk, even without any Uru's equipped, just simply by unlocking her and using the biometrics rather X genes that you are given to finish off her gears. And after that, you have one of the strongest female characters in the game without a shadow of a doubt boys so take a look at her details here really quickly and then we're gonna jump into a little bit more gameplay with her guys because i'm absolutely loving me betsy seriously boys she's freaking awesome so we're gonna jump into shadowland right here we're gonna test her on floor 25 and then after that we're gonna jump into some world boss ultimate and i want to show you guys how she performs there as well So this stage right here is a little bit annoying because of the fact that Cyclops can not only hit you while you're in iframes, he'll stun you, pull you out of your iframes, and then kill you, right? So he's really, really annoying. But once you get him out of the picture, it's basically a wrap. Yep, he's dead. That's it. Rogue? Rogue? It's not an iframe battle. It's not. There is no battle to be had. Like, I love you, sugar, but you gotta die. Like seriously guys, bet look at the range on her fifth. God damn. hold up, who did not get mind controlled? I think somebody did not get mind controlled. I think it might have been Magneto. But nonetheless, she freaking annihilated these guys. Seriously, 29 seconds, okay? 29 seconds. Keep in mind, guys, she still has no ooze or an obelisk. That's insane. And that's what running her crappy leadership so we're gonna jump in and we're gonna go up against ebony ma right here on stage 35 seriously boys this is how powerful of a character we're dealing with okay psylocke is like something we have never seen before well i guess we have kind of seen characters this powerful before in the ultimates but still seriously she's on a whole new level seriously i'm loving it absolutely loving it and the fact that she's one of my favorite characters and she's this powerful is just freaking awesome, guys. God damn, Scarlet came in with the mind control there. Freaking awesome. You know, we'll let, you, we'll let him have it. Hurry up, let's go. I'm not even gonna go after you. I'm gonna just let you have your moment because it's one of the only ones you'll be having. Come here. Oh, this guy got out. Damn, this guy got out. He heard me talking all that smack and he's like, uh-uh. We ain't even trying to have that. How did he not get mind control there? 
That's strange. Oh, this guy ran. All right, no biggie, no biggie. I'm gonna let you have a moment. Oh, double mind control, Scarlet. God damn, boys. That's the dream team right there, guys. The dream tag team. Psylocke and Scarlet. Scarlet, oh my goodness, guys. It's a wet dream come true. <laughs> I can't, okay, okay, guys, don't listen to me. Seriously, don't listen to me. I'm just having a moment, okay, guys? Oh my goodness, again with the double mind control. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Scarlet, you so ruthless. Is mercy not a word in your dictionary? Oh my goodness. This girl's vicious. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm telling you guys, these ladies don't know what mercy is, man. I gotta... Oh my goodness, I gotta take a moment here, guys. Between Betsy mind controlling this guy... And Scarlet Witch mind controlling him. It's an absolute joke. An absolute joke. So freaking easy, guys. Seriously. So freaking easy. If any of you guys can tell me that Betsy is not worth every single bit of that freaking crystal guys all 6600 of it i don't even know i don't even know i don't even have words to reply to you guys because i don't know what planet you're from anyways guys say goodbye to that betsy okay because honestly as soon as i'm done with my deadpool and i finish strife she's going to be the next character that i get to level 70 in the, the mutant category at the very least I'm probably going to get my Scarlet Witch to level 70 sometime soon because I've been slacking on her. And I'm going to start in this video, actually. I'm going to give her some... Ooh, wait. I didn't realize I had her slots amplified already. Not that it was doing anything, but I'm actually going to give her some Urus now, guys. So it's official, okay? Say goodbye to Betsy without Urus. And I'll see if I still have that obelisk that I wanted to give her. Hold up, let me see. I want to give her some crit damage. I think what I'm going to do for all five of her slots, because I will amplify all five, is actually two energy attack, two critical damage, and one critical rate. I don't have the critical rate. Oh, I do actually have the critical rate right now. Okay. So hold up, boys. Let me see. Okay, I have 13 critical damage. So I'll go critical damage, energy attack, and I'll leave the one empty slot for now. Hold up, boys. So you can say goodbye to Betsy. Because she's becoming something else, guys. She's becoming someone else. Honestly. And her ISO said it's going to get fully awakened real soon. If you guys want to see the full build in another video, let me know. But we'll touch up what we can in this video, guys. I didn't even realize I had all the slots already amplified. But at least you guys got to see what she's capable of without Urus, right? Stage 35 in freaking World Boss Ultimate against freaking Ebony Ma. And she was easily able to do 25, meaning even without Urus, she probably could have taken down stage 29. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show that to you guys because, like I said, man, I've waited long enough. And it's time for my Betsy to move to a whole new level, boys. A whole new level. All right, so we have two energy attack and two critical damage on every slot. Yes, we do. 
Okay, let's see what our stats are looking like right now. Beautiful, almost perfection. So we need 10% more critical damage. So I'm gonna have to push some of those critical damage oils to six stars to finish that off. And that's gonna be a painful process. My skill cooldown I won't even worry about because the reason why it's like that is because I messed up one of my cards and I'm gonna fix that real soon. I wanna give her max attack speed to be honest, even though she doesn't need it. And the reason why I wanna give it to her is because I really love the four skill and I love to chain that into my rotation and I don't want her to ever feel like she's exposed. Right now she's perfectly fine, but I don't want her to ever feel like she's exposed to me. And I love using this skill, seriously. I love her entire kit, seriously. I wish I could use the one skill more because I really love the one skill. It's, freaking, it's beautiful, guys. It's freaking beautiful, seriously. Her entire kit is freaking amazing. And I think I want to give her an obelisk right now. And a lot of you guys are always asking me, how do you get a damage proc? How do you get a damage proc? I want you to look at all of these, okay? Look at all of these. Everything that is not locked is a failure. Look how many times I've failed. And basically what I'm trying to get for Psylocke is, where is it? I think it's, th these are all failures too, but I'm gonna give those to lesser characters. This one right here, I'm looking for something very, very similar. So at least 30% mind damage for both of those rolls with a 200% damage proc. And look how many times I've tried and failed, okay? So to any of you guys who always say, Oh beast, how do you end up with so many damage procs? I have no luck. Look at how many I've made so far and I've failed and I've failed and I've failed time and time again, okay? So that's all I have to really say in that regard. I'm gonna put this honor as a placeholder for now because I don't really have anybody better to give this to. I don't wanna touch the one that's on my Scarlet Witch to be honest, even though it doesn't have mind damage. And we'll wrap it up right here, boys. So this is what my Betsy looks like. Ooh, 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 boys, y'all see this? 608, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Seriously, I wanna have a top 500 Psylocke in this game, and I will stop at nothing to attain it. Top 500 Deadpool, top 500 Psylocke, and who knows, eventually, maybe I'll go ahead and push my scarlet witch into the top 500 because even though i have quite a bit invested in my baby she's still not even in the top 1000 and that's shameful i feel like i'm cheating i'm sorry i'm sorry wanda forgive me but yeah guys that's all i really have to share for this one man like always thank you so much for watching hope the video was informative and i will see you guys in the next one it's betsy baby and it feels so freaking good. Seriously, it does.